not quite sure how this is going to work today. I hope I don't give you sickness and nausea and vertigo, but I've got it in my hand at the minute because I wanted to be able to show you what's on this board. This is my massive damn stretching board. Now, in truth, this is only half the size of it and it's on my table and it can fold out to twice this size, but then it has to go on the floor. But I had it in my head last night that I was going to damn stretch all this work that's on here. Well, apart from the veil thing here, that's just this has just recently come as um, something that was in my mind for an idea. So what I did was I got them out and the reason was because I, I assumed that the pieces on the left, the this one and this one, would need damp stretching because I hadn't worked on them for a bit and even though they're finished they've been stored carefully but I just thought I think damp stretching freshens sometimes. But I've got them out to damp stretch last night just before I went to bed. And they're fine, they don't need damp stretching, so I've left them. But I did damp stretch this. This is the piece I've been working on over Christmas. And um, this one here. So I did damp stretch that. I've just took the pins out of that. So I just wanted to show you my board really, how big it is and how it's cumbersome. So when I've got a house full of people, I can't get this big one out. I use just my bath mat for small pieces but the piece I worked on over Christmas that you can see on the right with the colouring that wouldn't fit on my small bath mat so that's the reason I'm holding this in my hand so what I'm going to do now is turn off and put it on the stand and then I'm not shaking about and giving you all dizzy spells and talk you through my new piece and an idea I had for it but I don't think it's going to work but I may as well tell you anyway and then you'll get a sense of thought processes and what goes on in my head um, so I'll, I'll be back in a sec this is the cloth I've been working on over Christmas now when I put it on the stretching board last night in my head it was finished um, there might be a lot of what you know you might be able to see a lot of space but on here for example there's a strip of cross stitch that I've applied on a separate piece of fabric and then put that on and I've done a little bit of running stitch dotted here and there and then these little tiny little nuggets of cloth I suppose you would call them they're scattered all over. I'm going to take pictures, it's okay. But then as I've got it on the board, and when I come to spray it, I notice here. I don't like this blank area here. So I may work some more just on this seam uh, and this edge. It is joined with running stitch to the lower section. But I, I want to put something else on here. I think that'll just finish it. Now, what is this going to be? When my daughter was here when I was making this, and she's like, oh, mum, what are you going to do with that? Um make it into something really special like um, and, and keep it in your special cupboard upstairs but I don't want that, I want things around me, I want things that I can see every day I've got so many things in my special cupboard upstairs and although I know they're there and that's enough it's also nice to be surrounded by things like this so part of me was just going to back it, that was an initial thought and just drape it over the arm of my sofa, just, just purely to look at but then I kind of think pockets, you know me, I can never have enough pockets um, and I think it would make an amazing pocket but if I folded it in half that way it wouldn't be the kind of pocket that I want to have a pocket like that already um, so I think I would like a pocket this width, okay so it's what to join it to, to have as a back and a plain back would be okay but you know, it might be better with a fancy back but I don't know if I want to I invest that much time in it I haven't really thought about it but then part of me thinks well Karen you know invest time because there's time invested in this and um, it'll remind you of Christmas 2012 so you know do something special for the back and then I'm thinking how am I going to join it and then as I was down stretching it I thought about this my veil thingy my festoon thingy now I don't want this to be the back of it, but I changed my mind about a pocket for a short while, because for a few seconds, because I thought, I wonder how it would look if this became the top, the defining edge of this veil piece. So I played with it and laid them together. So I don't really know, but then I think that might take away from this, because this is so special in its own right. So I'm still not decided, but then I thought, no, don't use that. And I've changed my mind all the time, you know what I'm like, don't use that. And then I thought about zips. Now I think a zip on here would actually be the best thing. And I've got a couple of long zips, really long zips. So if that was on there, and that was how the back attached to the front, 
you know, not another zip on here, but it's just a seam there and a zip at one side. And then that might become a useful pocket. I could maybe store my muslin in there or something or my threads. So I'm thinking all the time about what to do with it. Um, and as I say, I haven't reached a firm conclusion yet. What I'll probably do is finish this bit here, stretch it again, and then kind of come to a decision. But just from talking to you now, I've decided that the back needs to be worthy of the front because the front's quite special. So I'm not just going to put a plane back on it. So that'll mean I've got to put something else together and work on something else for the back. And the back won't be the same as the front. It may be the same, I use the same fabric um, for the colour, for the addition of the colour, that may well come into it somehow. But I don't think it's going to be like this pieced and patched together. Although I haven't decided and I'll come back tomorrow and I'll change my mind again because you know what I'm like. So I just wanted to really have a little chat with you about that. I mean, sometimes I do my blog and I get comments and I want to speak to you to answer. It's so much better to speak than to write, I think, in terms of this that's work in progress and in terms of embroidery, it's such a tactile medium. Um, I just find it, the video camera to me has been a revelation because I can talk to you now and verbalise things that aren't necessarily practical or easy to write in the body of a blog post. So I'm, you know, the video is probably going to feature a lot this year in my on my blog because I just love that kind of interaction. And in fact, I'd like us all to get together on a Wednesday afternoon at three o'clock in the church hall with tea and cake, and everybody bring all the work and we could all talk about it. And wouldn't that be amazing? Um, although it's never going to happen, is it? Unless we get somebody to build a church hall in the middle of the Atlantic or the Pacific or something. But that would, I mean, that would just be heaven, wouldn't it? I would love to do that. So this is as near as I can get really, um, so I'm going to make the most of it and make more use of it during the next 12 months and beyond I hope. 